Welcome back, Flyronix here. And today we are gonna make a gummy mold of a pumpkin. As you can see, this is what I have. Funnel, some duct tape, it's, pr it's gold, it's pretty cool. We got, oh, the bad part about jello. We got um, six blue jellos and seven of the strawberry jellos. And the reason for that is I got the blue jellos thinking that it would fill this mold here that we're gonna use. And it was not enough at all, so I had to run down to Dollar General. I'll tell you the story as I'm filling up this water here. So it says I need 13 cups uh, of boiling water, so I gotta boil it in this here. So this is two. We'll just fill this up. And we're gonna use the RO water, which means reverse osmosis. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's uh, apparently extra purified water, I guess. The whole reason I had to get more gel is because I didn't think we'd have enough. And on the way to Dollar General, I took my bike, and the the bike tire popped like about halfway there. Some guy helped me out. It, he was really nice. The guy pumped up my tires for me. We we got that worked out, and I got to the to the store, and uh, I bought what I needed, which was uh, exactly 13 boxes. So we're good on that. But as I was going back. I dropped two of the boxes, actually three, and two of them got run over by cars. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So, I had to go back with my bike, and on the way there, my bike tire broke again. Popped again. And, ooh, man. I was like halfway there, so I had to go so again. I got back to the store, got what I needed, again and then as I was coming out of the store my tires were popped again so then I had to walk the whole way with my bags of things that I bought oh man it was annoying and my brakes then stopped working and everything stopped working I just stopped riding my bike I walked the whole way I'm gonna go ahead and cut slits through this uh, this here and then put this gold tape over it so that I can easily get through it and not get to cut through the jello or anything like that. It should be pretty easy to cut through it. I don't know for sure though, I've never done this. Now we're just going to seal this here. It's got a hole in here too for this original strap here. So Let's go ahead and seal this. So that's coated from the inside and outside. Hopefully it'll be safe and also cover this bottom hole. I never thought about that. This bottom hole here has got to be covered. Now it's completely done inside and outside. And the water is just about ready. Hopefully. I also apologize that I'm the only one recording today. Tomorrow when this mold should be done, I should have a recorder. Sorry for the shakiness as well. That's pretty bad. I just realized what uh, I did wrong. I shouldn't have coated the inside with tape, so I went ahead and took off the inside part because I won't be able to take it out with the jello in there, obviously. And I'll also cut the bottom so that I can actually get the whole thing open in without trouble. All taped. This is all ready. I am quite scared that the water is going to seep through somewhere, but let's just hope that it hardens before then. Or because I did double tape it all the way around. And the water's almost ready. I got all of them unwrapped. And here's the strawberry and here's the berry. So one of the packages broke, but it'll buff, you know. And it looks like this is about ready, so we're gonna go ahead and grab it here. Really sorry for the angle. But we're gonna head, go ahead and turn this off. Take it over here. And, oh man, very steamy. Go ahead, we don't need a knife here. Let me just pour these all in there. This is so many packets, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Just, this is too many. Oh man. Go ahead and comment down below what you think we should do in our other videos because it means a lot for us to do what you want us to do. And it's really a big deal. And also, if you enjoy this content, leave a like. 
subscribe if you haven't. It's it's a great channel. We're looking to go from nothing to something. Man, this is all strawberry. I don't know if this is gonna all mix in, you know. This is just a whole bunch. I've never made this much jello in my life. I never thought I would either. So we're gonna add the blue now. Oh, it smells way better. The blue smells so much better. Oh, I like the blue, but oh, it's making a dark. Uh, it's making like a grape color. I don't know about this. It's making nasty looking color. I'm not liking it. I mean, what do you expect when you mix red and blue? I know what happens when you mix colors. I just had to get red because of what happened to Dollar General. It was really bad. But here is the last one. And now I just gotta mix it. This is so thick. Really crazy. I could just take a whole spoonful of all this stuff right now. Oh man, it's so purple though. Like, this isn't gonna turn out like what I wanted it to as a, I wanted it to be blue. Blue would have been a pretty cool color. But we're gonna have to go with this. I was just stirring this and, and I was looking at my dog. And my dog just looked at me like, like really evil. What's up, Shadow? All right, so we're gonna pour this into here and it's leaked a lot, but we'll see what happens. So, go ahead here. It's gonna be messy. And then I have to add water to the rest of it. So I'm gonna put this in the, the deep freezer and hope for the best. It's already leaking on the edge and that's really bad. But we'll see what happens. We can save some. We had a big leakage in the deep freezer and we're gonna put it in this mold instead. So go ahead and do that. So it was a big deal doing all that, so we're gonna put it in just a circular bowl. All right, guys, that was a huge, huge deal. Uh, it went all over everywhere. That did not turn out as expected. So we have this here mold. We're, we're gonna set it in here, but we're not gonna keep it set. We're going to go to the store tomorrow and buy a new, mold and try this again without cutting it which i think is the solution but yeah it was really hard and very very stressful for my whole family everyone was just flipping out especially my mom my mom is just like that so i guess i'll try again tomorrow that's gonna be like in two seconds for you guys lucky you guys i have to wait so we are stopping at Meyer to pick up a new mold because I'm not letting you guys down with a, a simple mold. So we'll probably just score it in the end and peel it off so it'll be easier. So we have our jello mold here. It's it's uh, We're going to go ahead and melt it so that we can put it in this mold. And it's already jello so we should be able to melt it and pour it right into our new mold here. And I think this is going to do good. It's just sizzling because of the water on the side because it's so cold, but you can just mix this all around as jello. It's really gross and cold. Now we're just going to take this mold here, turn that off here, and let's hope that this works well. It's a lot of jello, I don't know. So we're just going to fill it up to here. I think it's about perfect, so, because we did do this yesterday. Oh, that looks good, I think. Oh, got a little bit in there. Uh, I can probably fix that right here. 
because it's not melting or it's not coming out of this. So let's pour this extra in here. A little more jello. And then we'll go put this in the deep freezer. So we're just gonna put it in here. Nice and steady. And I guess we'll have to wait until day three. So see you guys in two seconds. It's now day three and we have our jello mode done here. And we also made an uh, unfla unflavored gelatin and, and it's flavored as Coke. So it should be pretty good, but we'll try it. So we're gonna try to cut this first. So we got all the scores done and uh, it's kind of seeping out a little bit. So we're going to tape it and put it in the freezer and then we're gonna get back to cutting. So we got our Coke mold here and we're gonna take it out of this hot water. We're trying to get it out of here without any messes or anything like that. So we're just gonna, ooh, that sounded, oh, that. that's nice. That's awesome. That looks like a raindrop cake. <laughs> We're just gonna take a slice through it here. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Look at that. Coke flavored jello. We have to give this a try. <laughs> what flavor is it? Coke? Not good? Coke? It tastes it tastes nasty. I don't know. Something's in that. It's cool, though. So it, it, it smells like Coke, but it tastes so bad, so we're just gonna toss it. But but it was fun while it lasted. That was two unflavored gelatin packets. Alright, we're good. Alright, so we're gonna cut this here and we're gonna go ahead and take it out. It's been in the freezer for about uh, two hours to so one and a half. So we're gonna cut this here. It's thick right here, so we're gonna cut it that much. I'm just gonna, we're gonna peel it, I guess. All right, so don't have a good way to do this. How do we do this here? All right, so we're gonna cut this here. It's a monster! <laughs> This is not, not a good mold at all. But we're gonna <laughs> look at that. <laughs> An upside down pumpkin. Thank you guys for watching. We did clean up the mess. It's all good. But if you do like this content, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will make sure to make a video every week. And if you guys get me to a thousand a thousand subs, I will do more than one every week. All right, that's our goal. We're gonna get to a thousand. Now our goal is 100 right now, but I will do two a week if we get to a thousand. Thank you guys for watching and peace.